This is tutorial number 117, and it covers the compass positioning within CATIA V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 113, which is located on the DVD. Now what we're going to cover is using the compass to create a positional assembly. So using the compass, we're able to mimic uh, some of the constraints that we used before. So something, say, like an offset, we're able to use the compass to create an offset also to rotate our parts and just to move it around. So again, this is a positional assembly tool that, that we can use or that you can use. Uh, again, it's up to you, positional versus a constrained uh, assembly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move this block this direction 200 uh, millimeters. So we'll click and drag it and we'll throw it on the face. And in the assembly, the uh, compass works just like uh, when we were using it in the parts and just to move around uh, components and whatnot. So you're able to use it in here just the same way. So now remember, double click and then find out which part it is down the tree to click to move. If you click them all, all of them are going to move. So click the one that you want. So now let's double click on it. And we want it to move 200. So we want it to move 200 along W. It's at 100 now. So we'll click once, twice, click close. And now it's moved 200. So now there's a 300 millimeter gap. And remember, after you finish, always throw it back up. Because what happened as I left it there? you're able to still move it around. So drag it when you're done, throw it back up. Now we'll pull this guy away also. So we'll put it on that face there, double click, and this time we'll go negative W and bring it up. Click close, and when you're done, throw it back up. So again, this is just another way to uh, position within your assembly with using the compass. Now, I'm going to throw it onto an edge, and I'm going to rotate about that edge. So we're going to be rotating about the W. So every time I click, you're going to see that it's rotating. And I'm able to rotate this component. Now I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to throw the compass onto this edge here to rotate. So I'll throw it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this part here. So I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to rotate it. As I have it over there, it's a larger rotation radius. So I'm getting a different rotation rather than the other one if I just put it on the same edge. And I'll click Close. So by using the compass, it's just like using some of these uh, constraints in here, like having your offset, your angle constraint. The only difference, though, is that you don't get a little subsection on the side from your constraints and tallies telling you what's been done and if you want to go back and change it. So the only downside with using the compass is that you don't see or have a running list of what you're doing, but it's a very easy tool to incorporate all of these different constraints to using uh, and moving your components within your assembly. Now if we also just throw it on top anywhere, and if we just drag it around, you're able to move around your assemblies. So. We'll just click this component here, and let's just start dragging and moving them around. So we can rotate them around, and we're just able to move this guy any direction we want, and we're able to position them. So also by throwing the uh, compass tree on there, you're able to move around your object freely just by clicking the different uh, axes, planes, rotation angles and you're able to just move it around. So that's another advantage with this. It's a lot easier to move it around rather than uh, using any of these constraints here. And it works pretty much the same as the manipulation, except you're able to hone in. And if you double click on it, it gives you a increment. So it gives you a, a solid number, and it's much more accurate than the manipulation tool. And that concludes our tutorial on the compass uh, positioning within CATIA V5.